Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to the elders, well honors and Shalom to all the brothers out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. It's uh, Elder Zarban Lillian here. I just want to do a quick lesson with some visual aids because uh, these hard headed dudes, they uh, they don't understand the scripture, so we're just going to show them something. You know, we're going to use visual aids because you got a lot of guys that's running around that can't understand the concept of. Israelites appearing to be heathens, you know. Now I just wanna, I just wanna do some visual aids. All right. Now, Exhibit A. This is my family. All right. On the far left, that so-called Haitian. That's my pops. All right. Now look at all four of his kids. All right. We got by two different women. Me. Uh, I'm right there. You know, in the middle. Or. You know, that's my little sister, my little brother, my older brother. Now, our older brother and us three, we got a different mom. But all of our moms are Edomites, all right? Let's see our father, so-called Haitian, all right? Now, look how we look, right? We get confused for all kind of different races. Everything under the sun but a so-called Haitian, all right? Especially, um, you know, uh, of the Northern Kingdom. Now, this picture's kind of old. It's from, like, 08 when I had, like, I had been in the truth, like, literally, two three weeks when this uh when this uh when this when we took this picture but anyway now let's take a look at this picture now again look how we look we don't look like a typical so-called haitian this man does our father does but he laid with a white woman and created us so we look how we look but we're still israelites because we're still of the seed of of this man right here you understand what i'm saying but we can easily pass for a plethora of things you know now, I'm going to further show some more proof of that. Let's go to Google. Let's go to this. Now, before I show you this, these are my cousins. The one on the left, she got a man. So, you know, just to warn brothers, you know, not to go off. But, all right, these are my two cousins. Same thing. So-called Haitian father, white woman. Irish woman at that. Right? Look how they look. They could easily pass for uh, Northern Kingdom so-called Hispanics, which that's all so-called Hispanics are, black men dealing with and mingling with the different heathens whether it be Moab, Esau, Ammon, Ishmael, what's, uh, what have you and then now they look how they look same thing with my family with my brothers and sisters and my look at my cousins same exact thing let's show another version so called Haitian women with, with white Irish mothers and look how they look easily could pass for a northern king right easily now same thing with her she was Miss Haiti a couple years ago so called Haitian father dark skin her mother, I think, is maybe a half, half Esau or half Simeon, and look how she look how light skin she look. You see what I'm saying? This is one generation. Look at the different when a, when a so-called Haitian man lays with a woman of another nation. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna show you my brother, my older brother's kids. Now he got with an Edomite woman, so this is two generations of getting with an Edomite woman. Okay, now the the, the color is kind of messed up because I'm shooting this on my phone. But they're light skin. They got a little bit of a tan because this picture was taken over the summer. But during the winter months, the colder months, they don't have so much of a tan. But see, I want to focus attention on his, his youngest, his, his son. Now, let's say his son get with a white woman. Now, look how he look. Let me kind of back up a little bit. You kind of get a better, a better picture of him. Look how he looks. Now, if this man lay with a white woman... I, I, I bet my bottom dollar that that baby gonna look straight up like a so-called white boy and that's in three generations of a so-called uh, Haitian man laying with a white woman for three straight generations that baby's gonna look like a straight white boy but it's gonna be an Israelite you see what I'm saying like and that's all that happened that's what happened with a lot of Latinos and that's what happened in places like Ireland Scotland uh, uh, Spain Italy uh, Portugal and other places where our people have laid down with these people of these other nations uh, over the generations and now you got people that are our people according to the spirit and according to the lineage but appear just to be like the other nations okay we're gonna get a couple of scriptures on it it's Amos 9 and 9 um, for lo I will command I will sift the house of Israel among all nations so we are sifted among all nations like as corn is sifted in a seed yet yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth so even though you got some of our people appearing to be these heathens, none of us are going are, are going to be forsaken. The Most High is going to save all of Israel. I just got done getting into it with this dumb nigga from ISUPK, and he talk about if you were an Israelite that was mingled, you know, and you and you can't tell you're Israelite no more. It's, forget about you, man. 
which is that's bullshit, man. That's total bullshit, and that's not scriptural. Here's another one, Tobit 13 and 3. Uh, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Okay, so it says, confess the Lord, Yahweh Shai, before the Gentiles, because we are scattered amongst the Gentiles. And some of us look just like the Gentiles. But the ones of us that aren't the Gentiles need to hear this, and our spirits will uh, ad identify with it and will wake up. Like you got the brother, for example, uh, the spiritual Sicilian up there in the GMS uh, Great Waters camp up there in upstate New York, Niagara Falls, man. A lot of people are like, oh, you got y'all got Esau in camps. He's not an Edomite. You dudes just aren't spiritual like I just showed you. Especially, let me go back to the picture of my little nephew. If this little boy, all right, who's only, he's technically only a quarter so-called Haitian. If he got with a white woman, that baby would be 12.5% according to Esau's standards, so-called Haitian. Yet, he'll still be a so-called Haitian, which is a tribe, a Hebrew Israelite, a tribe of Levi. And he'll probably look like a straight white boy. You see what I'm saying? That's just in three generations. Now, it's been hundreds of years, and it's, that's multiple generations of us mingling with them heathens. So, yes, some of us do look just like the heathens. If that wasn't the case, scriptures like Amos 9 and 9 and Tobit 13 and 3 wouldn't exist. But they exist to prove that point, man, that some of our people look just like the heathen. And y'all dudes got to wake up, man. Y'all got to wake the hell up. Every Israelite ain't going to be looking like fucking Shaft, man. That's a fallacy, man. In the kingdom, yeah, but as a, at this point right now, and y'all got to understand something as well. Part of that is a defense mechanism, man. The Most High has some of us looking like these other nations as a defense mechanism, man. All right, and I'm going to get this scripture too, which I should have had it up already. But it's a defense mechanism because these elites, these Edomites, they, they want to exterminate us off the face of the planet Earth, man. All right? So the Most High got us looking just like the heathen, some of us. That, so they don't know who's who, so they know that they can't actually ever... Um, exterminate us off the face of the earth. I'm gonna get this scripture though. It's Jeremiah 12 and 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. So our heritage is a speckled bird. We looking like all all type of way. The most part, like if you ever see a speckled bird, the most of it will be dark. So most of us, yes, we are so called black people in appearance, but there's speckles of lighter tones, even white tones on a speckled bird. And that's what Israel has become, man. All right? It's not that hard. I just showed you the visual aid, starting from this one generation of a so-called Haitian, getting with a so-called white woman, to two generations. And you can only imagine what the third would look like. All right? But with that, I'm going to say Shalawan.